Welcome to tonight's concert. All these live streams are broadcast simultaneously on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. And none of the gigs are behind a paywall. And this is especially for those of you that may have had a tough pandemic or are having a tough pandemic. And therefore, they're free for you to view. You're very welcome. There is a donations page on my website for any others. And we occasionally sell online tickets, voluntary tickets, I should stress. This concert is called Summer is Ikumen In, named after the 13th century English song. And I'm presenting the gig tonight in association with Rope Tackle Art Centre, Shoreham, the Swindon Festival of Literature and Scopwick Village Hall, Lincolnshire. Welcome everybody. I'm sitting here in my studio on Shoreham Beach, Sussex, England, about 100 metres from the water's edge and with a summer tide edging slowly across the sand, I thought I'd kick off with a hornpipe, a seafaring tune. This is my take on Jackie Tar. Jackie Tarr on the guitar. Now, as tonight is a co-presentation, I think it's time to go and meet one of our co-hosts. And we're going to start with Mark. Mark, who is the centre manager at the Rope Tackle Arts Centre in Shoreham-by-Sea, just down the road. Although I have to say it's a building I haven't been in for several months for obvious reasons. But uh, So it'll be a joy to see Mark. Over to you. Hello. Hi Richard and welcome to Rope Tackle Arts Centre in Shoreham by Sea, West Sussex. Hello to Rosa in Lincolnshire and Matt in Wiltshire. And welcome to everyone watching, whether you're local to us in Sussex or you're watching further afield. It's great to be able to share this experience with you for this special concert tonight. Rope Tackle's in a very lucky position. We're right on the banks of the River Aid in Shoreham. Shoreham's a really beautiful place. We've got the South Downs on our doorstep. We're right on the coast. It's a lovely place. We're lucky to be Richard's home venue and we've put on so many shows together since we opened in 2007. It's a joy to have Richard perform, every show is unique and the thought that goes into the music, the staging, the theme, it's always wonderful. 
We're a volunteer run arts centre and that community spirit is really our lifeblood. We wouldn't be here without the support of the community, the volunteers, of artists like Richard and of course you, our audience. And that drives us to be the best we can be for everyone we work with and for. Times have been tough recently but the whole arts community is really pulled together. So thanks for watching and supporting the arts. We really miss you and hopefully we'll see you back in the venue in real life very soon. We really can't wait. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you Mark. Kind words and great to see inside Rope Tackle. I can't wait to get back in that building. I hope to see you all soon. Now it was early summer 2018 when I made my last bicycle powered concert tour and on that occasion I rode from Kirk Wall on Orkney, the beautiful cathedral where I played a concert and then set off on my bike heading south to Edinburgh, to Holy Island, through Yorkshire, down to Sherwood Forest and eventually arriving in Brighton. This was a concert tour to promote my double album String Henge back in 2018 and during that tour I played tracks from the album. I'm going to play a couple of tracks now and they still evoke the feeling of travelling across that beautiful Scottish landscape. I'm going to play for you the Bog Oak Bure. corruptions of the music of J.S. Bach, of course. Now, I've been doing these live streams for just over a year now, 
and lots of people have contacted me about the technical setup. So I promised that I'd talk a little bit about the setup. You can see that um, we're using more than one camera. So I've got my, my wonderful youngest son, Felix, who's sitting in the corner of this room, operating the vision mixer, which is going to the main computer in the control room, which is manned by my son, Django, and my wife, Louise. They're, they're actually managing the output of this broadcast. And of course, I have these beautiful microphones in front of me. I've got a Neumann U87, which you can hear me speaking on. And then these beautiful valve mics, a stereo pair, a little bit more of a distance from me to pick up the music. And when I play, Django adds a, a little bit of resonance, a bit of reverb, just to give a bit of space, because I'm actually in quite a small room, although we tried to disguise that with clever lighting. That's all very well, having the cameras and the microphones, but the really the most difficult thing which we found to get our heads around was, was how to actually output the sum of these parts into a coherent broadcast simultaneously on different platforms. So we use a piece of free software, which is what most people use, and that's called OBS. And you can download that and then work out how to connect things up. But um, it does enable you to using a, a third party you can you can stream your broadcast to well tonight Facebook and YouTube simultaneously blah -de blah fingers crossed this is all working now it's time to meet our second co-host of the evening for this is a co-hosted presentation with those wonderful three venues the second venue tonight is a place where I've played many many concerts it's a fabulous fabulous village hall in the wilds of Lincolnshire a beautiful village called Scopwick, and our host at these concerts is always the wonderful Rosa Nelson. So over to you, Rosa. <laughs> Thank you, Rosa. How fantastic to see you and great to see inside that hall. Hopefully one day soon we can all get together uh, again. And I should also say a big hello to the Scopwick Posse and all, all your mates that I hope are watching tonight. So thank you for joining the party. Wonderful to be part of this. Now, of course, Rosa, you may have detected, um, comes from South America. She comes from Peru and uh, to celebrate her South American roots, I'm going to play one of the great South American instrumental solos, which I'm glad to say was written for the guitar. It was written by Agustin Barrios in Montevideo, which is the capital of Uruguay. And this really is one of the great guitar pieces. He does nod towards J.S. Bach in a respectful way. You can hear that in the cascade of semiquavers in the in the second of the two movements that I'm going to play for you. There's a Baroque influence, but somehow Barrios makes this piece uniquely his own, and it's an icon of the guitar repertoire. So I hope you enjoy these two movements from La Catedral by Agustin Barrios, the great Paraguayan guitarist composer.
Next, I'm going to play for you one of my pieces. This is called Book of Spells. It's a piece which I wrote in 2018, and the idea was that with each turn of the page, a different movement, a different kind of spell. But let's talk a little bit about magic first, because the growing season is upon us here in the Northern Hemisphere, in these here parts. And I thought I'd mention to you, you may or may not know, that in the UK, the month of May has been designated No Mow May. And by mow, I mean mowing your lawn. The value of not cutting the grass is absolutely huge. It encourages insect life and wildlife and protects all sorts of endangered species which you may not always be able to see unless you get right down low in the grass and have a good look. No Mow May is supported by plantlife.org.uk. So if you want more details about how to stop mowing the lawn and save yourself an awful lot of work, then go to plantlife.org.uk and you can help to make a difference. Now, let's get back to Book of Spells, which I was about to play for you.
That was Book of Spells. And from Book of Spells to a magical place, Lower Shore Farm, which is in Swindon, Wiltshire. And the connection with Lower Shore Farm is that is where Matt Holland lives. Now, Matt Holland was the founder and is currently the director of the Swindon Festival of Literature, who are our third co-host for this concert. And um, thank you for watching. If you're watching through the Swindon Festival of Literature portal, it's lovely to welcome you to the gig, especially if you've made a donation to the, to the festival. Thank you for that also. We're now going to go and meet Matt. Matt Holland, who I believe, is down on the farm. Hello, Richard in Shoreham. Hello, Rosa at Scotwick Village Hall in Lincolnshire. And hello, Mark at Rope Tackle Arts Centre in Sussex. In fact, hello, everyone, wherever you are, everywhere. Hope all is well where all of you are. We are delighted and grateful that digital technology, keen organisers like Rosa and Mark, and willing performers like Richard make it possible for festival followers everywhere to enjoy events like this one online. Fantastic. It's great to be working with you all. Terrific. Uh, Matt Holland is my name, and I'm speaking to you from a beautiful place called Lower Shore Farm, where each year in May, we do our best to make a festival of literature and the arts happen here in Swindon. We are located in North Wiltshire in England, about halfway between London and Bristol. The World Heritage Site, Stonehenge, lies a few miles south of Swindon, which was home to the famous nature writer Richard Jeffries, who more than 100 years ago coined the term wildlife. Talking of wildlife and nature, spring in Swindon is as lovely as spring is anywhere. We wish you were here. If you want to know more, check out the Swindon Festival of Literature or Lower Shore Farm. But for now, all I really want to do is sit back and listen with you to Richard's way of welcoming spring, summer and new life. Go Richard, thank you. Now I happen to know that Matt Holland grew up in Paraguay with his brothers and his sister I've also been to Paraguay several times and shared some of my Paraguayan adventures with Matt. This piece is called La Maquina de Inscribir, the typewriter. And it was inspired by a haunted typewriter, an ancient machine I saw displayed on a plinth in the offices of Ultima Hora in downtown Asuncion in Paraguay. <laughs>
So, one of my mum's favourite pieces of Elgar. This is the Chanson de Matin. It's perfect for this time of year. And in fact, my mum was very seasonal, rather like me, in her musical tastes. She used to play the orchestrated version of Chanson de Matin around about this time of year on the family radiogram. Elgar also, of course, he, he wrote it in the first place for, for violin and piano. So this version that I've uh, managed to put together for solo guitar has taken some doing. I started this transcription in 2012 and I've been fiddling with it ever since. But I don't think I can get it any better than this. So this is my version of Chanson de Matin, which was actually played at my mum's funeral as well. My lovely friend Corin Buckeridge played Chanson de Matin on the church organ in Falmer Church, Sussex, all those years ago. So I hope you enjoy Chanson de Matin on the guitar. That was Edward Elgar's Chanson de Matin, arranged for solo guitar by me. Now, if you'd like to play that version of Chanson de Matin, then um, I'll send you the music.
How about that? So you'll have to send me uh, an email with that request on. So if you go to my website, richarddurrant.com, and you can contact me through the website. Just subscribe and and I'll send you the music. It'll be a pleasure. Good luck playing it. There's a few stretches in there. We're going to go to another film now, and this time it's something which I've recorded especially for this concert. The title of the concert, of course, is Summer is Ikumen In, which is also the name of that famous 13th century English round, which my mum taught me, actually. We used to sing it when I was having my bath. I remember it, singing around with my mum. So I recorded this during the week, and yesterday morning, Louise... My wife Louise and I went up on the downs with our dog Bolo and a few musical instruments to film what you're about to see. I should also thank my two daughters, Daisy and Rooney, for their vocal contribution, which was recorded in the studio, as you will see. So without further ado, let's go to the film of Summer is a Common Inn. Somebody is he coming in, Lord, it's in Coco. Blow it, sad and blow it, mad and spring the wood and oh. Sing Coco. Ah, we plant the top, the lob, la, pop, the cow, loco. Pulls dirty, but the earth and moon is in Coco. Coco, Coco, well, sing as the Coco, this week thou never know. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the film. During the film, we got rather busy in here. This is uh, Felix on the double bass here, who has been working the cameras all night. So welcome, Felix. Hello. And Daisy has just popped over from the house with her accordion. So thank you, Daisy. Thank you for turning out. Um, I've just had an email from Mr. John Everett as well, who did the artwork for the Rewilding album. And he seems rather delighted that we sang Summer Is He Coming In? Because if you look... At the front cover, which John painted, the front cover of the Rewilding album, there's a tree growing up out of the boat that I'm sitting in. And the tree's full of musical instruments, and there's a music stand, and on the music stand, tiny little brush strokes, is the manuscript for Summer Is He Coming In. So, extra special to be singing that song tonight. Now, 
Felix and Daisy are here because we're, we're going to um, play a surprise item for Rosa, Rosa Nelson, whose birthday is tonight. Rosa, of course, is one of our co-hosts. She's in Scopwick, I hope, with a, a birthday bottle of wine open. And uh, because Rosa is from Peru, there's only one song that we're going to sing. And, and this is it. Take it away, Felix. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. I have to move this microphone. change guitar for this this last number which is one of mine it's called Wilbury Summer a bit of rattling going on here that's better what's on the top of your guitar what's on the top of my guitar uh, apart from the tuning pegs ah this uh, oh, yeah the rattly stuff that's a good question Daisy on the top of my guitar are various things there's there's a there's a compass there's my dad's watch my father's watch uh, and a key. The most expensive object is is a key. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I bought this at an auction, and that is the key, rather fittingly, which uh, used to belong to Sir Edward Elgar, and it was the key for the wooden box where he would put his moustache overnight. So there you go. Very important. Jolly good. Wilbury Summer. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this. See you soon.